our last and final chapter four about stream and play. So under Cody, we'll go to settings, media, and videos. Uh, now the first section here, USB server, if you have the USB connected directly to your computer or Xbox or Shield, uh, you can just access the files directly without any logos or icons. And you can see here the episodes that we named in the last chapter. Uh, but what we're going to do is under videos is add videos and browse and we're going to click on add network location the server name that's the name of the computer that we named so it's media server the shared folder is what we named the folder which is USB And the username and password, remember that was the account that we used to log into that Windows system. So I had the username family, and then I'll just enter the password there. And that's all you have to do to connect the Windows server to, in this case, Cody on the Fire Stick. We'll click OK. Now it will show up as a shared, a new share name, so media server slash USB. We'll click in there and browse to videos. We have TV shows, so that's the folder we're going to use is TV shows and click OK. And we'll keep the name as TV shows there. And for directory, uh, what we want to do here, it's a TV show directory and we're going to browse using the TV database first. Click OK. Yes on refresh. It's going to scan each of those folders using the database, and that is how you'll get the description and the pictures over to your Kodi library. You can see it's scanning there at the top right. Depending on your device, it can take a while to show up under the, in this case, we're in the TV show section. If you go back to the main menu, click on TV shows, you'll see what's already been added. Uh, now in this case, we have The Office and the Star Trek, but we don't have Tom and Jerry. So this is a good example. We're going to go back to media and videos, right click or on that and go to change content. And under change content, we can change the provider to scan for. So previously we used the TV database. I'm going to change the provider now to XEM, which is another database that uses TV shows. Click OK and refresh. And then it's just going to scan those folders using a different database and see if we'll get different information. So again, you can see it's scanning Office and Star Trek. Go back to the main menu. Click on TV shows. Now it did scan Tom and Jerry, but the newer version from 1975. So it's going to have a different description and different titles. You can see there on the bottom right, the release date. So again, we want 1940. So we're going to change the provider one more time. We'll go back to media, TV shows, right click, edit source. It'll take us back to the directory now this time we're using the movie database as our provider click ok refresh now it's going to scan those that folder with the new database so we can see it scanning star trek office now we can go into tom and jerry and it looks like it got yep it got the 1940 version because the first episode is called puss get the boot and then the midnight snack so we do know now that it's got the right database information and we can go here to TV shows see the office Star Trek and Tom and Jerry now the office we don't have the files we just named them by the episode name and you can see here how it, it brings over the title description and the name of the episode as well as the icons and we can also see that under Star Trek I just made two blank files one from season one one from season two 
and you can see there it brings over the titles and the description for each of those episodes. But the one we're going to use that we know we have is under is Tom and Jerry. So if we go back to TV shows, click on Tom and Jerry, and there we go. Season 1, Episode 1, Season 1, Episode 2, with the full description of the show and the details on the bottom right. Uh, now we're just going to play this file. And again, uh, just testing everything. Now this is coming right off of the Amazon device, but it could be your any device or that has Kodi installed. Playing the video, it looks fine. Now this is the rare episode that has the uh, the audio track. Now we're going to go through and check on the subtitles and audio. Remember this has several tracks of each. So under the subtitle icon, we can enable it and you can see it's bringing up the English subtitles. And then we'll go back to test the audio. And we can do that under the settings icon. Click on audio settings. And we can see here it's English. You can select, we have three other tracks, or three tracks, French and Dutch. Select the Dutch. Go back and change the subtitle from English to Dutch. And what we'll get are the Dutch subtitles with the Dutch language. And now we give it some time, we can see it filling up in the library there. Some fine tuning, uh, if you wanted to change the cover art or go into the details, right click on that and go to information. And under choose art, in poster, this will allow us to change the cover art, which would be what was on your, what would be on the DVD cover. The remote art pulls from a shared library from other contributors. So if you just want to change the look and feel of your library from time to time, you can go here, select a different remote art image. So I'm just going to select the red poster. And that would take the update. The other section is view type. Now if under view type, you can display your library differently. So we have wall. So we have info wall, which shows it like this. We can press back, select on view type wide list. We'll display it that way. Select back again, select wall, no description, just the icon, sort of like how Netflix looks. And we can select it one more time, info wall, and wide list. And that's all we need. That was chapter four on stream and play. And that's all we need to have Cody configured. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.